Atlantic coast, at a dozen unnamed ports, United States troops receive the orders for which they long have waited. Prepare to embark. Destination overseas. Men train for just this moment stream aboard transports lying with steam up, ready to sail. Trucks, weapons, supplies are swung over the side. Each ship puts to sea veiled in deepest secrecy. Bound across the Atlantic, keen eyes searching the horizon for a similar convoy headed out from Britain. Off Gibraltar they rendezvous. 850 vessels, 350 warships, the greatest armada the world has ever known. Invasion ships of men and equipment stretched across the ocean as far as the eye can see. The cream of America's armed forces. Men eager for action, trained to perfection, sailing as their fathers did a quarter century ago. Keeping in fighting trim is a part of their daily routine. Gunners keep watch over sea and sky. Naval units steam back and forth, ever on the alert for a prowling enemy submarine. Now, orders at sea. A destroyer comes alongside the convoy leader with final instructions. Hand lines haul the sealed packet aboard, and the orders are Africa. Everything timed, planned, every move blueprinted months in advance, the invasion is a miracle of organization. Off Oran, troop landings begin hours before dawn. As the first light of day streaks the sky, the final assault boats shove off for shore. There's a signal from the harbor. All's going well. And as the barges speed in, similar landings are being made at many points on the African coastline. These first pictures were made at one of many landing places west of Oran. For this was a vast action of synchronized local landings. Snub-nosed barges, heavily armored, ferrying supplies from ship to beach while troop transports and naval units stand guard offshore. At every point, American trucks and guns move in. The long practices at home now bearing the fruit of careful military preparation. Lieutenant tells the natives that the Americans come as friends, and the natives are more than willing to cooperate, helping haul airplane gasoline for fighting planes and bombers. Combined with the British 1st and 8th Armies and units of the French, the Americans consolidate their positions. North Africa becomes the stepping stone to the United Nations Second Front. The offensive has begun.